Hello, here is Moon and I have a nice French lock in front of me here. It is a Super Charette Abel, which is probably as much as Super Security with a bowl. Um, not sure about Super Security, I think on LPU Discord it's ranked purple, which is I think too much for it, it's quite easy to pick actually. Uh, the ball part uh, does not refer to the balls that are in the keyway there. Uh, let me try to show them to you. So here you see there are balls. Um, rather it refers to the ball on the key. Um, that would be on the tip if I would have one. Um, it's, it came to me keyless. Uh, the ball is an interactive element and it operates uh, one of the wafers that is a bit different from the others. So uh, seven of the eight wafers, they have a ball here and the ball is pushed by the key outside of the keyway in one of the three directions. And then the wafer moves 90 degrees from it. So either that or that there. So there are two directions where they can move. Um, interestingly for mastering, they can be turned around and there are eight, um, eight locking elements in total. The last one slightly different, but the balls are like all over the place. They can for each wafer just in one of the three position and none for the last one. So let's get it to the wise and pick it. Okay, here is my tensioner. I will be using two picks. One is quite big and rough, but works nicely for most of the elements. And the other one is for interactive because it needs a bit finer tip to, to move it. All right, and the picking is actually quite straightforward. Just find the ball and whichever board is feels binding, just push it down. It's pretty much impossible to overset anything. Well, maybe in theory, but in practic practice, I was unable. Okay, here is a binder, click. And some of the wafers, they act, act like standard pins and the others are closer to spool, so they give counter rotation. Okay, these feel loose, which is either set or not set, but nothing in between. It's very discreet. Okay, that's that is fine. And I'm just looking for the binder. Okay, here is one. And now I have just the very last one, the interactive and the key would push it from the middle of the keyway, but it's hard to place pick there. Uh, so I will rather operate the element itself, but with this pick, uh, it just cannot push it far enough due to the white tip of the pick. So I'm taking one with a finer tip and looking for the interactive element. It should be somewhere in the back. And here it is. And we are open. It's, um, I don't know, my lighting maybe is a bit bad to show it, but let me try. So you see it's not aligned anymore and I will move the tail piece a little so you see it can move. And you know what, let me just got it in this open position. So I will just remove the screw and you can see on the guts very well that it is indeed picked. Let's just slide this cover 
off. Okay, we don't need this element. This is just the front plate. Let's turn it around. And you see, normally um, in locked position, the elements, they are protruding from the slot. But now they are behind and we can turn the core easily. And let's just slide it away. Here is a sleeve. Um, these two holes were there. That's where the tabs that were here normally go, which the tabs I removed and added this hole to hold it all together. Um, otherwise, some of the elements, if you look here, they have those kind of sharp edges and the others are more straight. So these edges will interact nicely with the sloped um, parts. So when you push them, they counter rotate and they'll act pretty much like spool. But I promised you I will cut it. So let's get to that. First I will push these pins down. Then the first one. Okay. Just make sure that I don't lose the spring unintentionally. Okay. Now we can remove these three. So the rest goes easier. I promise it will go faster very soon. I just need to remove one more stack or slice. I don't know how to call these. And Remove the pins and the rest go quicker. All right. So here it is completely gutted. You see pretty much everything that's in the lock. Let me just show a bit closer look. Here is everything. And now I think I would like to show the difference between different uh, wafers. That's three, two, and let me find number one somewhere. Is that number one? Yeah, it is. Okay, so there are three kinds of regular wafers. That's number one, 
three, which way to put it this way, and two. And there is interactive one. So you see for these, they differ in the lengths of those protrusions and just the, so for one and two, this protrusion is longer. So that's the one that gets a notch. And for number three, the notch goes here. Uh, so number threes, I guess, uh, would be standards. One and two are spools. And for this one, um, it doesn't interact with the ball um, in the keyway. It interacts in the middle of the keyway with the ball on the key. So here you go. Um, Bricard, Super Charette, Abel. Picked and got it. I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day. Bye.